What's up guys, it's McNulty here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, uh, hopefully a bit better than I am because I'm absolutely terrible at the moment. I've just come down with some kind of flu um, and I am coming out of the back end of it, but it's just in time uh, for the Phantom of the Opera, for the new opera heroes. So I'm excited to have a look at these heroes with you guys today. Um, so we have got one new five star hero in the portal. And we've got a new three star, which is quite an interesting one. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we'll start off with Prince Sigrid, um, as he's the newest hero in this portal. Um, so he's going to be a nature hero of the Druid class. Um, so you can spawn the extra little thorn minions, a little bit of a meat shield for this bro. Um, and the bonus he gets for the family is bonus for one, two or three heroes. So it's 5%, 10% or 15% attack, defense and HP, depending on how many heroes that you have. Um, so it's a straight up stat boost uh, for attack, defense and HP. No mana boost, unfortunately. Otherwise, it would be reminiscent of the costume heroes. But that's it's still pretty decent if you do manage to get more than a couple of these heroes uh, you're going to be increasing these stats um, now he gets the two passives so this guy's running at slow speed um, I'm saying that now because of this passive. Uh, so he resists defense ailments. He has an innate resistance against negative or status ailments and negative stacks that affect defense. Um, so it doesn't apply to status of, uh, ailments that affect elemental defense. Uh, but you can't give this guy defense down. Uh, so just bear that in mind when you're going up against him. Uh, now the reason I say it does affect slow speed heroes is I think that the passives... Uh, that's for the attack one. Uh, they're both running it fast. So I just want to see if there's a common theme running through this portal because I'm pretty sure there is. I just need somebody to confirm it here for me. So, oh uh, no, there's not. So she gets the defense ailment resistance as well. Um, and she's running at average speed. So that's interesting. I'm just sort of finding out things as we go here. And she's at slow and she gets the attack resist. Okay, so really, um, there's nothing much to it. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. But that's what he gets. He also gets a secondary passive, which is the heal when status ailment expires or is cleared. Uh, so he receives 20% health uh, every time a status ailment expires or is cleansed. Um, removed or reallocated from him. The effect can activate once per turn. That's a pretty decent effect for this guy as well, to be honest. Um, so his stats, we're looking at 942 on the team power. So a bit lower than what we've seen with a lot of the other heroes recently. Um, but that's what, he's, that's what he's running with. An attack stat of 933, defense 920, and health of 1670. Um, so pretty balanced stats across the board. Nothing super extreme um, but he's pretty pretty decently built it's quite strange that they've done that you know in terms of the team power because she's the last uh, hero that was released at 957 um, and then they've gone down to 942 I, don't, I haven't often seen that to be honest um, so his special skill is called the dance of the heron and he is running at slow speed uh, so if the cast is defeated during the next five turns they're resurrected in the beginning of their next turn with 30% health. And all allies recover 100, I'm sorry, 1100 HP. He casts the Dance of the Heron uh, to all allies, but the caster for five turns. All existing status effects will be removed when the effect's added. Now, the Dance of the Heron is counterattack with 130% of the damage received. Received damage is reduced by 35%. Gives immunity to new status effects. New dance status effects will replace this effect. And the effect cannot be dispelled. Uh, the effect is only removed when the cast is defeated. So there's quite a bit going on with this special. I just want to break it down, um, you know, one by one. Uh, so the, the first thing he does um, is that it, it says, oh, if he dies during the next five turns, he's going to be resurrected, you know, with 30% HP and all allies are going to recover 1100 HP. I mean, that is a cool effect, but that's if you're planning on making him die. Um, and heroes that work as though you're planning on making them die are never really a great idea because sometimes it doesn't work. Or what happens if you get to turn six 
and the effect wears off and then he dies. Um, it's not always, or what happens if some of your other allies die before he dies and then he only resurrects himself but he doesn't heal anybody else. That doesn't really do you any good. Um, but what does happen is that he casts this dance, which is the more important part of his special. Um, so it goes to all allies except for the caster. Um, and then uh, the remember the caster still gets that effect so if he he if he casts this while the whole team's alive the whole team's not going to get that 1100 hp um but he is going to get that um status effect where if he's defeated during five turns he will revive again so now we're talking about a different kind of hero that we haven't seen before which i do quite like um so he casts the dance of the heron to all allies except the caster all status effects are removed when the effects are added. Um, and then the, the dance effect gives 130% counterattack, which is a humongous amount of counterattack. I mean, that is probably one of the highest amounts of counterattack that we've seen, except for some of these scaling ones uh, with some heroes. But that's pretty damn high. Um, and then he gives the damage reduction at, on top of the counterattack. Now, that is just great because it doesn't reduce the amount of damage that they're going that they're applying to the counterattack. So the enemy's still going to receive that full 130% counterattack, but it does reduce the damage that you're receiving uh, by 35%, and that makes a humongous difference. So I love that. I really do. He's kind of like um another hero that does that which is uh, i've actually got her in my roster i'm just going to open it up now um so willow willow's a, just an insanely good hero but this second charge um apart from the bypass as you can see there all allies reduce received damage by 45 percent for five turns and all allies counterattack with 115 percent of the damage received for five turns so this is basically the same effect um and running at the same sort of speed um, with Willow and I do find that she's an incredible incredible defensive hero um, not just in the rush format uh, but in pretty much all formats of the game um, in fact um, if I just look at where where does it show my cups hang on so I'm uh, 2750 cups um, and she's part of that defensive team so you can hold some you can hold some pretty decent cups that's probably one of the lowest that I've been actually with her but um, yeah that effect is insane so I think this hero is going to be very usable both on attack and defense um, I think that on attack he could be like a last chance saloon kind of hero uh, where if everybody's down to just like hardly any health and he gets hit and killed um, then he could revive the whole team and suddenly before you know it everybody else has 1100 health plus they've got counter attack plus they've got damage reduction you name it they've got it they're just they're back from the dead and they're ready to ready to cause some havoc uh the passives as well um so he gets the um the heal passive which i do like um so when the status ailment expires he gets a 20 percent health boost um i do like that as well so i think this is going to be an insanely good hero i don't just think like a lot of slow heroes he's going to be limited to usability in the rush format i think you're going to be able to use this guy in multiple different areas of the game so if you do grab this man um go ahead and level him because i think you've just landed an excellent hero even though his stats are slightly lower i'm a bit confused by that but yeah we we'll work that out let me know if you know what's going on there as well um and then uh, we've got this little three star who is not to be forgotten about because she's a very important little hero as ugly looking as she is because she does look absolutely but ugly. I'm sorry to say um, sh there is something important about this hero. So uh, she is the swan maiden. OK, she's a three star hero. Bear that in mind. Um, she gets the family bonus, the same family bonus where you can increase the attack, defense and HP uh, probably will pair well with some other three stars in this portal. Um, but she also gets the resistance against defense ailments and she also gets the passive. Uh, this one recovers 10 percent health every time a status ailment expires or is cleansed, uh, removed or reallocated. So she's got a lot going on. She's got all of the benefits of the major, you know, beefed up heroes, um, but probably none of the downsides in terms of the leveling. Um, and she benefits from the dodge ether talent. You can see the stats there in terms of the uh, second limit breaks. We're looking at about 800 team power, which is pretty standard. Um, nothing out of the realms of what's reasonable there. Um, but 
what this hero does get, and unfortunately she just disappeared on us, so I'm going to get her back. Um, although it's probably better when she wasn't there, honestly, she freaks me out. Um, anyway, so uh, this caster is a mini version of Odette in the three star which is insane because Odette is amazing. Um, so she's almost exactly the same. So we'll go through her specials. So uh, she gets the dance of the little swan, so the baby swan, um, and the caster regenerates 402 HP over three turns. The caster gets plus 30% chance to dodge special skills that deal damage for three turns. And get this, she casts the dance of the little swan. And what does that do? It gives a 30% chance to dodge attacks and special skills and a 35% chance to deal a decent 240% damage to a random enemy after any subsequent allied special skills cast. So she is the little version of Odette, which is awesome. Uh, immunity to new status effects, new dance status effects will replace it. The effect can't be dispelled and it's removed when the cast is defeated. Um, so same as the other... Um, dance heroes or, or opera heroes the heroes that cast the dance effect but that is an insanely good effect for a three-star hero um, and I think that if you've gone up against Odette on um, you know defensive teams before at the five-star level you know how frustrating that secondary effect can be with the dodge um, and then it's not just the dodge, but there's also quite a high chance um, a 30% chance of this one um, to give Oh, sorry, hang on, it's not the 30% chance, it's a 35% chance uh, to deal 240% damage uh, to a random enemy after any subsequent special skill or allied special skills cast. Um, and that can actually fire off across the whole team and it can do some pretty serious damage. So I love this hero. I think she is absolutely brilliant. Um, she's running at average speed, so I haven't checked for a little bit, and I don't have a debt. Um, but yeah, she's running at average speed as well. So just as a comparison, she regenerates 609 HP, 45% chance to dodge compared to 30 um, at the three-star level, which again, like I said, is still pretty decent. Um, and then a, again, a 45% chance to dodge compared to, uh, I think it was 30 again. And then a 50% chance to deal 360 damage compared to a 35% to deal 240. Um, but everything about... <coughs> sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. I'll get well soon. Um, so everything about the Swan Maiden... Um, is, is just insanely good. It's almost exactly the same as a debt. So yeah, congrats if you do manage to pull this three-star hero, as long as you can keep your eyes away from her long enough to fire off her special and figure out what she actually does. I think you guys are going to be on to a winner with Swan Maiden as well. So two fantastic heroes in the portal. Um, also, we're featuring Christine Day, who's a beast just a monster um i have done a video on her um she's just an absolutely insane hero so yeah a really good um featured hero and Furman richard uh who's growing on me he's he's quite a cool hero not the best of the opera family heroes unfortunately but um you could be doing worse across the board so yeah in summary prince siegfried's absolutely insane so is christine day Furman richard is running at very fast speed so you can always find a place for him on your roster and this new three star swan maiden is just insanely good for a three star hero so whether you come out with a five star or not five star sorry uh you're going to be doing good if you do grab the swan maiden from this portal so I wish you guys everything of the best of luck in your summons. Um, good luck in the challenge events if you are going to be competing. All the best to you guys. Um, and please do drop us a like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any future updates. Um, and send me your comments and let me know what you think of this uh, Prince Siegfried. And also what you think, if you think I've got it right with this three star, if she's going to be an absolute beast at the three star level. Um, but until the next time, that's all for now, guys. See you later. Bye for now.